welcome to future doctor neat academy for the problem solving session in neat physics topic chosen today is from chapter 10 thermal properties of matter let's move to first question a copper rod of 88 cm and an aluminum rod of unknown length have the increase in length independent of increase in temperature the length of the aluminum rod is dash formula is delta l by l equal to alpha into delta t and here what is the given thing independent of increase in temperature independent of increase in temperature means temperature also constant so this formula simplified and written as equal to l alpha constant that is equal to l1 alpha1 equal to l2 alpha okay here you want to find l2 length of the aluminum rod length of the aluminum rod l2 equal to l1 alpha1 by L2 alpha 2 and alpha is also same. So alpha 1 alpha getting cancelled. So L2 equal to alpha value is not given. L2 equal to that is alpha 1 alpha 2 is given value. Alpha 1 is 1.7 into 10 power minus 5 and alpha 2 equal to 2.2 into 10 power minus 5. So substitute this here. Then L2 equal to L1 alpha 1 by alpha 2 that is L2 equal to L1 is what is the value of L1? 88 centimeter. No need to convert into meter because already option also given in centimeter. So keep as 88 into alpha 1 is 1.7 into 10 power minus 5 divided by 2.2 into 10 power minus 5. So here 10 power minus 5, 10 power minus 5 getting cancelled and then 2.2 if you use 11 table 0 0.2 and here 118 on simplifying we will get the answer l2 equal to 68 centimeter that is option c okay option c is the answer okay option c is the answer let's move to question number two the value of coefficient of volume expansion of glycerin is 5 into 10 power minus 4 per kelvin the fractional change in density of glycerin for a rise of 40 degrees celsius in its temperature is dash that is rho equal to rho naught into 1 plus gamma delta t here gamma delta t here gamma is the volume expansion coefficient of volume expansion and rho is a density at t temperature and rho naught is a temperature at t naught temperature then here you want to find fractional change in the density that is rho naught multiply inside rho naught plus gamma rho naught into delta t then on simplifying rho minus rho naught by rho naught equal to gamma delta t this is our final formula and gamma is given 5 into 10 power minus 4 5 into 10 power minus 4 into delta t 40 degrees celsius into 40 simplifying this we will get rho minus rho naught by rho naught equal to 0, 0.0 okay that is option b option b is the correct answer let's move to question number three a centigrade and fahrenheit thermometer are dipped in boiling water the water temperature is lowered until the fahrenheit thermometer registers 140 degrees fahrenheit what is the fall in temperature as registered by centigrade so relation between centigrade to fahrenheit this is a formula c minus 100 by 100 minus 0 equal to f minus 32 by 180 so from this c by 100 equal to f minus 32 by 180 and f is given 140 degree fahrenheit f value equal to 140 degree okay substitute this here c by 100 that is equal to c that is 100 into f minus 32 140 minus 32 140 minus 32 divided by 180 this 0 this 0 getting cancelled then 10 into 140 minus 32 how much 108 no 108 by 80 9 to 18 and then 9 to 108 okay and then on simplifying we'll get equal to 40 40 degree celsius okay that is option c option c is the answer let's move to question number four a piece of ice falls from a height yet so that it melts completely only one quarter of heat produced is absorbed by the ice and all energy of ice gets converted into heat during its fall 
the value of h is dash given latent heat of fusion of ice is given 3.4 into 10 power 5 joule per kilogram and g also we can use 10 newton per kilogram or 10 meter per second square then q equal to that is q equal to or mgh that is a formula you have only one pattern of heat produced so mgh by 4 equal to m into l here you want to find h only m and m getting cancelled then h equal to 4 into l by g that is equal to 4 into l what's the value of l 3.4 3.4 into 10 power 5 divided by g 10 okay 10 then on simplifying this use 10 power 4 and then 4 4 16 point 4 3 12 13 13 point 6 into 10 power 4 that is 136 into 10 power 3. Why I am writing 10 power 3 means answer is given in kilometer. This is 136 into 10 power 3 meter that is equal to 136 kilometer that is option B. Option B is the correct answer. Let us move to question number 5. Thermal capacity of 40 gram of aluminum S equal to 0 0.2 calorie per gram into Kelvin is given. You want to find thermal capacity. Formula thermal capacity equal to M into S. M is a mass and S is the specific capacity. Then M is mass 40 gram into S. S is 0 0.2 per gram per Kelvin. This is also gram, that also gram getting cancelled. Otherwise, you have to convert this into kilogram and this also you should convert into kilogram because 40 gram, no mass is given 40 gram. Correct way is you should convert into a unit kilogram and this also you should convert but here its value is given in this value is given in 0 0.2 calorie per gram. So keep it in gram itself 40 into 0 0.2 40 into 0 0.2 how much 4 to 8 40 into 2 80 and 4 into 2 8.0 is it so into this is calorie convert into joule so 4.2 8 into 4.2 you will get 33.6 joule per degree celsius okay joule per degree celsius that is option d option d is the correct answer let's move to question number six three stores a b c have surface temperature t a t b t c Star a appears bluish Star b appears reddish and Star c yellowish yes which is correct that is a TA is greater than TB is greater than TC like that. This is from Wien's law of displacement. Wien's displacement law. That is lambda is equal to, actually lambda equal to B by T. Here B is a Wien's constant. From that lambda is inverse proportional to B. And temperature of the, that is a lambda value. Lambda value for which is given, bluish is given. Lambda B is less than. Is it so? Wavelength of the blue is red less least value and then next is yellow this is for c lambda c and it is less than what is the last one reddish lambda r what does it mean wavelength of red is highest next is for c yellowish oh this is a no h a lambda a <coughs> lambda b is less than lambda c is less than lambda a and we said lambda is inversely proportional to t so reverse for temperature means reverse is the correct that is T A is greater than T C is greater than T B. So that is option D is the correct answer. Let's move to last question. A black body is at 727 degrees Celsius. It emits energy at a rate which is proportional to dash. Formula from Stephen's law E equal to sigma T power 4 or E is proportional to T power 4. The question is proportional only. Therefore, from this, E is proportional to T power 4. Then, E is proportional to T is 727 degree Celsius. 727 degree Celsius convert into Kelvin. That is plus 273. How much? 727 plus 273, 1000. 1000 Kelvin. That is T. Substitute this here. E is proportional to 1000 whole power option is given as 1000 whole power 4 itself that is option b option b is the correct answer okay thank you students in next session we will see through 
another chapter that is thermodynamics questions thank you thank you all